Everybody ready? Yes. Julius Caesar! Countrymen, on, let me out! What? Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you suggested this. Me too. You're wonderful, you know. So are you. I think I'm in love with you. Are you? Do you? What? Love me. Of course I do. I've told you that. Let's go to the car. I don't know. Why not? I just don't. If you love me, you would. You said that you do. Come on, let's go. All right. <laughs> oh, they were the days, ours. Don't tell me you used to go parking. No, 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 don't get jealous. I'm not. I did too. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously music lovers, eh? Hmm, sounds like it. Looks a bit like that young Nathan's car. Yeah, I think it is. I wonder who's in there with him. Two guesses. Well, surely not. Don't bet on it, Al. She's a flaming little liar. Al, forget about it. Come on, let's go home. We can deal with it later. No, no, no. Let's deal with it now. Come on, don't make a scene. She said she might have to dance with him, but we're not to read too much into it. Oh, Al, stop it. Only being sociable, she said. Well, I'll show her social. Oh, leave them alone, love. What's going on here? Hey! Don't annoy me, you, Al. Oh, Al, please. What the hell do you think you're doing? Me? I've heard about blokes like you. This is how you get your kicks, you old perv. Oh. Did you see that? Yeah, we all saw it. The guy pulled me out of my own car and hit me. Yeah, only because you deserved it. So charge him. Yeah, go on, charge right, Settle down the lot of you, Alice. Can you please take Sarah home? Nathan didn't do anything wrong, come on. But I want to stay. Right, well, you're better off out of it. Go home. See you in the morning. Okay. So you gotta charge him or not? Yeah, Nick, what are you gonna do? Oh, why don't you just stay out of it? And you stop pinning the blame on Nathan. It takes two to tango in case you've forgotten. Well, I didn't see much dancing going on. All righty, Alf. Look, she knew exactly what she was doing, and I didn't hear any complaining. And what the hell would you know about it, you cheap lush? Lush! Yeah, lush. It'd be different if your daughter was involved, wouldn't it? That is not the point. Of course it's the flaming point. If you were a decent mother, your boy would have a bit of respect for a girl like Sarah. Did you hear that? Did you hear what he just said? pay for that, mate. Oh, yeah, and who's going to pay? Okay, Alf, can you just go before you make matters worse? Me? Yes, you. Well, why the hell should I go? You're not going to let him get away with this, I'm not going to let anyone get away with anything now. Alf, can you go on? Please. Well, that's typical, that is. Just typical. How could you do that to me? What the hell do you mean, do it to you? How could you do that to us? You told us there was nothing going on between you. Yes, I you know. You told us you were only going to dance with him. Funny sort of dancing. All right. But you didn't have to humiliate me. You didn't have to drag Nathan out of the car and embarrass me like that in front of everyone. The whole of Summer Bay will know by morning. I won't be able to go anywhere. I won't be able to face anyone. Oh, don't talk such rot. It's not rot. It's true and it's all your fault. All right, all right, it's all my fault. But you want to think yourself lucky, girl. It's nothing to what would have happened if your father had caught you. But you're not my father, and you can't order me around like that. I'm just your border, remember? Not anymore, you're not. I told you I wouldn't put up with any of this sort of rubbish, and I won't. You're out. As of tomorrow morning, you can start looking for somewhere else to live. You want some breakfast? Um, I'll get some later, when you've gone to work. You don't have to do that. I'd be happy if I did. Yeah, so will I. Uh, would you mind getting that for me, love? OK. Morning, Sarah. Alpha about? Yes. Go through. Thanks. G'day, Alf. Nick, you're up and about early? Not that early. Nathan Roberts has been to see me. Yeah, what did that mongrel want? He's not a mongrel. He's insisting I charge you. 
And under the circumstances, I don't have much of a choice. Much choice about what? Sorry, I'll put you up for assault. And I'd like you to come with me down to the station so we can go through the formalities. Want a cup of tea? No, thank you. Me neither. I wish to God Alfred let me go to the station with him. Maybe he was embarrassed. Yeah, well, of course he was embarrassed. Nothing like this has ever happened to Alf in his life before. Oh, love you, Becca. I didn't hear the car. Yeah, that's because I walked from the bus stop. Didn't Nick offer you a lift? Yeah, yeah, he offered, but there was no way I was going to accept. Well, he should have called me. What happened? Pretty much what Nick said had happened. I got charged with assault. You know what that means, don't you, Alf? Means I'm going to have to front into the court and stand up there before a magistrate like a common thug for thumping Nathan Roberts. I reckon they'd give me a medal instead of throwing the book at me. And all because I was trying to protect someone who should have known better in the first place. I'm going to my room. I'm in trouble, Alex. Real trouble. Can I get you anything? No, no thanks, love. I, um, I might have a shower, see if that makes me feel any better. OK. Sarah? I'm just going out for a while. I'll see you later. Uh, no, just a minute. You do understand why we want you to move out, don't you? It's not that hard to work out. Just so long as you realise that it's not only Alf. I'm very disappointed in you too. You said there was nothing going on between you and Nathan when there was. I know, but it wasn't that simple, Elsa. It certainly seems that simple to me. When you asked me, I wasn't sure how I felt. And I knew that you and Alf didn't approve. But you admit you were interested? Yes. And you were still going to keep seeing him? Only to find out whether I really liked him or not. So you still lied. Now do you see why I feel so let down? But I wouldn't have if I'd been sure. I just didn't know what else to do. And now you are sure? Yes. I really like him, Elsa, so I'm not sorry to be moving out. Because now I can keep seeing him without having to hide anything. At least we understand one another. 